Andy, what a pleasant surprise that was after Sunday. You couldn't get much of a contrast, could you? Four one Newcastle winners over Bournemouth. Yeah, apart from the late goal, I thought it was I was watching an action replay of the Fulham game last game of last season. <laughs> Pretty much identical, wasn't it? It was uh it was incredible really to think that you know, we haven't really got anything to play for and they're fighting for their lives. I mean it was it was a bit of a whimper rather than a battle, but you you take it and it means that we're, you know, guaranteed safety and we can look up. Hmm. You say we haven't got anything to play for, Andy, but uh, there's an outside chance of Europe, yeah, mate. Well, I was looking at the fixtures again, and, um, and obviously Man City away, you're pro- probably going to lose that. Uh, but yeah. they have the eye on the cup. They're both cups at the minute, at leagues, incidental for them. So there's a chance you might nick something there, and you could certainly nick something against Liverpool last game of the season because they're going to be in party mode. So who mm-hmm. knows? Um, there's juicy fixtures against West Ham. I think the drop points against Villa now are looking um, looking like we might rule them. But whatever happens, I think. I mean, realistically, I think you know Everton, Arsenal, Tottenham—they're all going to finish above us. It's a very, very much a long shot. But you never know, do you? It's just enjoy the rest of the season and um, try and establish who's going to be kept for next season and who can, who can stay fit as well. I think. Well, that's it. Like I think, I mean, seeing that they're going to finish finish above, where at least Newcastle can now aim for the top ten instead of looking over with Shaw and be shit scared of relegation. To be safe, to be above forty points after to have six games remaining is a decent achievement by Bruce. Would you say? It is. I used them better than I thought, and a lot better than most Newcastle there fans would have thought. I think before the season. Um, I mean, we've beat we've rolled by luck at times. It hasn't it certainly hasn't been pretty, but. It hasn't really been any less pretty than than under Rafa, I don't think. Um, it was pretty innate, though, wasn't it? Very pretty innate. It was fantastic performance tonight. It was, uh, it was so open. I don't think you'll get that much space in it being so open against most sides, but you can only play what's in front of you. And given that they've, they've certainly got stuff to play for, I think it was a great performance. I think Sunday still leaves a little bit of a nasty taste in the mouth, I think. The mm. way we performed and you know, how you can't put two passes together. I think we're just overawed by the the stature of the opposition on Sunday and I think we didn't really give it a go, which is the frustrating thing. I mean, I, if we'd tried to play like tonight, we probably would have been ripped open. We could have been a bit more savvy, but having to go at them and getting beat 4 or 5 nil, I would have uh, been a lot happier than what happened the other night. So, Dwight Gale uh, tried to get rid of that taste in your mouth, though, by scoring the night, tried to make amends, didn't he? Gave it one of them. Bit cheeky, one nil up after five minutes. It was cheeky. I mean, I wish he'd scored the other one instead, but you know, that's, <laughs> you can only. I mean, he's he's going to be disappointed with it, and he it was a good, great finish. To be fair, Saint Maximum ran the show. I think he had a very disappointing first half against City, but so much pressure on his shoulders when he's the only one in the half at times against Man City. So, I think he he had a lot more people helping him out. I think um, Shelby was superb tonight. Um, I think he had the freedom of Bournemouth, but you know why he didn't play? I'm scratching my head why he didn't play on Sunday because mm. I called before the game. I thought that if we were going to have a remote chance against City, we needed our star sort of flair players to perform, and Shelby was, certainly would be one one the first in the team sheet if you want to create chances. And ah, because it's he's played the full ninety tonight as well, so it's not as if you'd think he was injured on Sunday or, or that done for where he couldn't have at least made a cameo appearance against City to play 90 minutes tonight and look as sharp as he was he was still sprinting in the last minutes yeah uh, well a Shelby sprints it's still a bit of a cart horse but he's he's not the quicker <laughs> he, he opens the space and when he plays in that deep role and picks the passes out and he's got will and runners um, if you see a maximum if you're Miggy if you're uh, Longstaff and you know even um, even Joe Linton you know if you, you want Shelby in the team don't you you want him mm. to you know, some of the passing and range of passing the day was absolutely superb. Like I say, he was given a lot of space, but you know, you can only play what's in front. Of and it's a great game, but it's a bit baffling why he didn't play. You can only think that he wanted someone tighter in, but you've got to create chances against sides, and you've seen what happened tonight. When we create chances, we can score. Mm. Was that the performance of the season for you? Um. Possibly in terms of the the 
flair. But I think earlier in the season, I think that you know had a crucial, probably the Man United one nil. I think was um, was steely and uh, just at the right time. And I think, but in terms of enjoyment, um, you know we can enjoy tonight because we weren't really under pressure. We could have lost the game; it wouldn't have really mattered. Um, so to win it's just a, a Brucey bonus, literally. Lovely stuff. Cheers, mate. We'll uh, see you on Sunday. Yeah, cheers, mate. See you after. Take care, mate. Drop.